This meeting between Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen and U.S. officials in Taipei has high political implications. The government says it needs international support as threats from China get louder and closer. I would like to reiterate that the people of Taiwan love democracy, seek peace, and are keen to fulfill their responsibility in the international community. China considers Taiwan as part of its territory and has not ruled out using force to take it. The U.S. says it's ready to expedite weapon sales. As the House Foreign Affairs Committee chairman, I sign off on all four military sales, including weapons to Taiwan. And I promise you, Madam President, we will deliver those weapons. Now China has launched three days of military exercises around Taiwan, a response to the Taiwanese president meeting earlier this week with U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Taiwan's fighter jets responded with their own drills as fears grow about a possible escalation. It will be interesting to see just exactly how far the Chinese are prepared to push this. Um, if they do stop and inspect ships in the Taiwan Strait and the Taiwanese say, no, we're not going to comply, then there's the potential then for that to escalate into some sort of exchange of fire. But China remains defiant. The Taiwan issue is not about democracy. It's an issue concerning China's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Taiwan is an inalienable part of our country. Taiwan understands it needs international backing, especially from the United States. The question is whether it will be enough to deter Beijing. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.